Hey everyone, this is Neil with Lamasu. Today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly set up your server and install your admin. And from there, you'll be ready to configure your wallets, exchange accounts, commissions, and everything else to get started with your new crypto mat. This video will apply to Mac OS or also Linux, and we'll be covering the same in Windows 10 in a separate video. The only thing I'll skip over today is setting up a DigitalOcean account. This is quick to do. You'll just need to provide a credit card or PayPal account and billing details. Also, be sure to enable two-factor authentication when signing up. So to start, I'll pull up DigitalOcean.com and sign in. When we mention a VPS, a virtual private server, or Droplet, this is what we'll be setting up right now. On their main project page, I'll click Get Started with a Droplet. The instructions I'll follow here are the ones contained on the step-by-step -step guide on our support portal. In case these differ from the video, definitely follow the ones contained there. I'll select Ubuntu 20.04 as the droplets image. For the plan, I'll choose a $40 a month droplet as I'll be showing how to install the wallet nodes we recommend. Though if you'd prefer to use BitGo, which is a third-party hosted wallet, you could instead choose the $20 a month plan. For the region, choose the one closest to you. If I were in Asia, I'd choose Singapore. Here, I'll choose Toronto. I'm going to enable monitoring in case that comes in handy. And for authentication, we absolutely want to use SSH keys as the most secure way to connect to your server. Since SSH keys are likely new to most, we'll walk through creating one here. Click New SSH Key. And on your Mac, Open Spotlight Search, type in Terminal, and it should be the first result. SSH keys are like Bitcoin keys in that there's a public and a private cryptographic key pair, and the public key you'll give to DigitalOcean and the droplet while keeping the private key on your computer to securely control access to your server and its wallets. To create a key in your Mac's terminal, run ssh-keygen. When prompted for the location to save, hit enter. Then assign your SSH key a fairly memorable passphrase to unlock it. As someone would need both the private key and your passphrase, this does not need to be the most random of passphrases. When you see the artwork, you've succeeded in creating a key pair. We'll want to now output the contents of the public key to provide to DigitalOcean. To do so, run cat space tilde slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub. Don't worry, this command is written in the step-by-step -step instructions. We'll highlight and copy the portion of the output that starts with ssh and ends with dot local. Back in DigitalOcean, paste this in the box, give the key a name, and click Add SSH Key. Let's give the droplet a relevant host name, like Cryptomat Server, and then click Create Droplet. When this finishes, you'll get an IP address for your server, which we'll copy and then go back to our terminal. To log into your server, run ssh space root at and then paste the IP address. Hit enter. For this first time, you're asked if you trust this server, so type yes and hit enter and you'll be prompted for the password you assigned when generating your SSH key. And now when you see root at Cryptomat server, you know you've connected to the server's remote terminal. From here, let's install the Lamasuk server and admin software. I'll go to our knowledge base on support.lamasu.is for that. 
Click New Operator Setup, Admin Setup, Step-by-Step, -step, and then Installing the Lamasu software. We'll copy the full script command here, making sure to get it all. And back in your server's terminal, paste it and hit Enter. Since this will take a few minutes to complete, I can make a quick point. In the terminal, whenever you see your Mac's username and computer name at the command prompt, you're running commands on your Mac, as your Mac. From here on, the only command on your Mac that you'll really need to run is SSH to connect remotely to your server. Here, I can do so again by running ssh space root at, and then the IP address of my new server. Again, I'm prompted for the passphrase to that ssh key. When we connect though, we see how this prompt changes to now display root at what we named the droplet. So by this, we can tell whether we're logged into the server or whether we're still on the max local terminal. If I wanted to disconnect from my server, I could type the command exit, hit enter, and we'll see we're back at my max terminal again. This is important to distinguish as from time to time you may need to jump into the server to run an update script, and you'll want to be sure of where you're running these commands. And in the terminal, if I want to pull up the last command I ran, I can press the up arrow on my keyboard and you'll see the SSH command I just ran. Also ask for the passphrase again, and I'm back into the server's terminal once more. Let me close this, and I'll let the install script finish up, which it looks just about to. All right, so when we see the activation URL for the Lamasu admin, the Lamasu server software is installed. Before we access it though, we just want to do two things. If you plan to use Ethereum, let's take the opportunity to back up the seed to your ETH wallet. We'll type Lamasu dash mnemonic, hit enter, and then carefully copy down the seed words in the order that they're shown onto a piece of paper and securely store that. Also, I mentioned BitGo as a wallet option earlier. If you're planning to use it, skip this next part, but if you're using the wallet nodes we recommend, we'll set those up now. To do so, run Lamasu-coins. This script installs the wallets and starts their synchronization. For now, keep this to one or two coins it will take up to a day to fully sync the blockchain for the coins that you install. The more you select, the longer it will take, and you can always come back to this to install additional coins later. For now, I'll choose Bitcoin and Zcash. Use the arrow keys and select the choices with the spacebar. Hit enter to install. Now, let's jump into the admin. We'll copy this original link. This link will keep you logged in within the browser that you open it. In case you ever need a new link to open the admin on another browser or another computer, you can run the command lamasu-register to generate a new link. 
like this. Give it a name. And now you have a new link to use on a different device. We'll open up a new tab, paste that link, and when we first pull this up, we'll get a security warning about an unsigned certificate. This is expected, though, because the certificate your server uses is self-signed, but it is still secure. In Firefox, click Advanced, and then Accept and Continue. Et voila, your new Lamasu admin. Click Get Started to follow the wizard and configure everything to pair your Lamasu crypto mat. We'll be walking through all this in a following video. For now, para bench e até breve.